What's going on, one? My name is Kyle Harris, aka Racer GT399, the stack, ladies and gentlemen. Today, ladies and gentlemen, it's my first time ever doing the NASCAR racing reviews on my first channel. Normally, I do reaction videos and West Plays on, on, on vlogs on my first channel, but it's not going to be the case no more. It's always on the second channel. My second channel is Racer GT399. I make some awesome reaction videos and West Plays and vlogs on my second channel, so make sure to subscribe to my second channel, ladies and gentlemen. So today, it's my first time ever doing the NASCAR racing reviews on my first channel, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to try my best not to get avoid a third copyright strike. So that would be not being very good. So anyway, so here we go, guys. First ever doing the NASCAR racing reviews on my first channel. So anyway, it's time to review of the 2022 Cookout Southern 500 at Darlington Raceway for the Cup Series playoff in 2022. So I got to say congratulations to... Eric Jones in the 43 car winning his third career win and he's a two-time Southern 500 champion for Eric Jones. And also, it's great to see the legendary 43 car back to victory lane since back in 2014, Eric Amarola got his first career win back in Daytona in 2014. And now the 43 car has a run at Darlington and was all the way back in 55 years ago, back in 1967. When Richard Petty won the Southern 500, and now 55 years later, Eric Jones bringing back the legendary 43 car in the Southern 500. So, anyway, congratulations to Eric Jones for his third career win. And now let's get on to the review for stage number one and stage number two and stage number three of the Cookout Southern 500. So, anyway, stage number one, Joey Wagano was on the pole alongside with Chris Rebell. For the first race of the playoff, and I gotta say, it has been a great race for for the 2022 Cookout Southern 500. I thought it was gonna be like you know, you know, like like some crazy race. Been what happened from last year, you know, with the the playoff problems, by the way, from last season, the Southern 500, and then um, and then around the area, the caution and first caution of the day in stage number one because of the little showers in turns three and four. It's not that much, by the way. So it's a little showers, by the way. But they decided to call the caution on for for showers in three and four. So it's a little bit showers, but it's not that much. So around the on the green flag, you see the the two drivers, the two playoff drivers, Chase Elliott, the 2020 champion, and also the 2022 regular season champion, and alongside with Chris Buescher, um, both got wrecked, and at first. Uh, first out of the race already for the first race of the playoff. But Chase Sally in the ninth in the standing spot. Oh, he's doing a good job. But Chase Sally, he is a regular season champion. But hopefully Chase Sally might have a good chance, have a great, awesome playoff for the next race in, in Kansas. So both drivers are out of the race. Ch uh, Chase Sally and Chase Briscoe. And then round the stage, number one finish, we see William Byron, the legendary 24 um, of William Byron's car, 24. That 24 is Jeff Gordon's number, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Win stage number one in the first race of the playoff. William Byron had a great race car. He did a great awesome jump. And also Kyle Larson went to the end on schedule pit stop. Um, and then uh, he ended up in 12, by the way, for Kyle Larson. So he did a great job. And then around stage number two, Cody Ware brought out the caution, by the way. And... We've seen the, the Toyotas, by the way. I gotta say, Kyle Busch had a great race car. Denny Hamlin had a great race car, too. And Mark Drex Jr. had a good race car, too. And also, gotta say, Kyle Busch dominated in stage number two, wins stage number two. And then around the final stage of the race, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, that um, Kevin Harvick um, is out with a race because of the engine problem. And then we've seen uh, Mark Drex Jr. has the, on, on the engine problem. He was in the lead, had a fast race car. But unfortunately, for Mark Truex Jr. was in the lead with nine in the playoff. I thought he was going to win that race, but unfortunately, he did not make it to the playoff back in what happened at Daytona. But unfortunately, what happened for Mark Truex Jr. He had a great race car. He uh, the engine I lost his power of the engine and then did not win the race. And and then after what happened around lap number twenty four, Kyle Busch has an engine problem. He was in the lead. He was going to win that race, but unfortunately, Kyle Busch has an engine problem. Before they were ready to go racing. And then we've seen. Alright. Anyway. Now we've seen the, the final lap of the race. We've seen D Eric Jones in the 43 car. Versus Denny Hamlin on the final lap of the race. I thought Denny Hamlin was going to send it around turns 3 and 4. But unfortunately. Didn't have a chance to win that race. But unfortunately. Eric Jones has won the second Southern 500 win. And also. Third career win for Eric Jones. And the legendary 43 is back to the win. 
So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification turn on. Ladies and gentlemen, I love you all at the bottom of my heart. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. See you guys soon. And I just want to say congratulations to Eric Jones winning the Southern 500. So guys, have a great day. See you guys soon. Keep it rigid and have a great day.